Hey guys, so, um, I hope the lighting is okay. It looks pretty good on my phone. I don't know, I'm not good with cameras. That's one thing that bothers me about YouTube is, like, a lot of the successful people have good cameras. And know how to do lighting and ring lights and soft boxes and shit. No, I'm not good at that. I'm also really bad at photography. Anyway. Anyway. I have an actual topic for this video, and you can tell by the title. Bleh, by the title, obviously. Um, I've talked before about DIY. I do silk screening. Uh, I don't do it as much as I used to, uh, but I have all my silk screening supplies over there. And I used to make shirts. I made shirts that say moist on them. You're probably thinking that's really creepy, but hold on. I'll show you how uncreepy it. Okay, it's still kind of creepy. I made them because you can't get in trouble for wearing a shirt that says moist if it makes someone feel uncomfortable. But it still makes someone feel uncomfortable and it's hilarious. Um, so yeah. I don't know if it's focusing on it, but there's also glow-in-the-dark crystals on the sides. Also, this shirt is really wrinkled, so get over it. Anyway, um, I make, uh, well... I can, and sometimes I do, make a lot of my own patches. I have a lot of patches that I've made um, in a pile over there, like a giant box, and back patches and all of that. Um, so obviously this is for the people who like DIY. If you don't, get on out here. Scurry on out. Go, go to Hot Topic in Forever 21 or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, I may have shown these off in other videos, previous videos, but, uh, this is what my Crust Punk pants look like right now. Um, uh, when I got these, these were size one. Um, they don't fit me anymore because I made them too tight with patches. So keep that in mind if you're making pants. Keep it in mind. Also, I don't have a butt, so they like sag on the butt, but then like the other rest of the pants are too tight. Also, you can tell there's too many patches on the butt because they started ripping a lot and I just wanted to save them. <laughs> They're like children that died. <laughs> and you just keep the corpses lying around in your room. Okay. I'm getting really off topic. Okay, so I'm going to be informing you on some of the best ways that I've learned to make sure your patches don't fray. I know that's a problem with some people. Um, and some people don't care, which really pisses the shit out of me, okay? It's someone's artwork that's on their patch. So take care of it. Because I, I, I invest in people's art. It makes me feel good. Because I know that if I sold art, I would want people to do that. But I don't like selling art, I just give it away. Because who's going to buy my art? <laughs> Lol. Um, I have a few patches. Um, if you guys want, I'll comment. If you guys want, comment below asking where I got some of these patches. Because some of them I did get off companies on Etsy. And I do have a few of my favorite ones. Maybe I'll go around and get them. But right now, that's not the point. Um, uh, the best way to prevent fraying I've learned is, at first what I used to do is put, um, a model plain glo uh, gloss dope stuff, that's what it's called, I know, it's, it's not a drug, but you could probably get high off the fumes, I know, it's really toxic, but it was used to seal model planes and stuff, and it worked really well, and that's what I used so that I, it didn't fray on the edges and I just sewed them on, but, um, after a period of time, that stuff wears off, and it just kind of starts fraying anyway. So the best way to prevent fraying is hem it. I have a Sailor Moon patch here. This patch... I didn't make that one. I made the Sailor Moon one. I have a Johnny... The Homicidal Maniac patch. Uh, the best way to prevent them from fraying is to hem them. I use black string, because it goes with all of my patches. That's just me. I like black and white patches. I preferably don't like color patches. 
that's just me um also most people sell black and white patches so it is and uh after you hem them you're gonna want to uh get some it's not just hemming because obviously they can still fray underneath so you're gonna need to get some stuff to prevent that uh i use these two instead of what I used to use because that stuff's actually really toxic and kind of annoying to get. I had to special order it. And it doesn't last that long because it's for model planes. Uh, this is both by E600 and E6000. My bad. Uh, is it E6000? Yeah, E6000. Okay. Uh, this one is the Extreme Stretch Fabric Fuse and the fray lock and then this one's the fray lock you can get them at michael's or the wh wherever you want to get them wherever is close to you i hold on hold on um okay uh there's a reason i have two of them and one of them is because um i don't know if you can see i don't know if my camera is good enough for the focus but if you can see there is a clear line and this clear line is the fray lock. So what I do first is I take a paintbrush and I paint pretty, uh, you know, a lot liberally. I think that's the word. There's a word that I don't remember. I'm trying to remember. It's not working. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe I'll think of it later. But um use the fabric fuse to paint because it it says it <laughs> gives extreme stretch and stuff like that so it what it does is just seals everything but as far as like sealing the actual frayed ends i find that the uh the fray lock works a lot better so yeah uh and I'm sure people who do DIY already know how to sew your patches on. You do it with floss, damn it. Do it with floss. No, I'm kidding. You don't have to do it with floss. It's just stronger. There's a reason people do it with floss. It makes it pretty damn strong. I use dental floss, um, the kind from Safeway, because it's really cheap. And I don't care about your designer brand floss from Crest. Or Does Crest even make floss? I don't know. You can get the mint ones. I don't know what that does. It's green. I don't know if that'll wash off or if you want to lick your pants later. Maybe you do. I don't think that would last after a while. It might make your pants sticky. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm also not going to tell you the effects because I don't know what the effects are. I just... I, I'm assuming the color would wear off and it wouldn't stay green. I don't know. Don't come to me and say, Jasmine, my pants are all sticky now. Because I warned you. Uh, the best way to keep them together is the when you tie it uh, with your needle. After you tie it, like I, I usually end up tying it like in five different knots. Uh, but leave probably about an inch extra of string coming off the end of your knot. Um, and then take a lighter. And just light it a teeny bit. Don't let it go past the knot. But it'll um, make the string stick together because it'll melt because all of the wax on it. So that helps a lot. I'm saying personal preference wise. This is my tiny takeout Hello Kitty box that used to have candy in it. Don't judge me. Um... These are the, oh, I'm missing my favorite ones, that's sad. Um, these are little pins that I have. I know, they're really kawaii. I know. Be jealous. But anyway, they, for me, they, I don't like when they have little dots on the ends. They just don't hold as well. These are kind of sturdy, I guess, in that sense. And for me, they help, they help my purpose. And they, they could help your purpose. I don't know where to get them. My stepdad bought them for me. But maybe when you're pin shopping, you can find those. Hey, I don't know. I don't know your life. 
You could live in the middle of Ohio and have a tiny hobby store. Go to that. Go to that. Any case, I hope I helped you guys. Um, I've had friends asking me about like how I seal my patches, and all my friends know that um, I'm kind of like a fanatic about making things last when I do DIY, because I don't like my art or anyone else's art being destroyed in the process, because I don't know how to properly take care of it. So, yeah, that's just me. You can do what you want. I'm giving advice. It could be horrible for you. You could set it on fire. I, have no, I don't know. Good luck. <laughs>